everyone, it is me, Dennis the Absurat. Hey everyone, it's me, Dennis. So, I was not gonna record a video today because, as you can tell, I have a congestion and I sound really weird. Um, but dude, I could not not say something today. So, here we are. There's a lot of stuff that went down today and honestly, I have some input to give, um, especially on the new Belgian Wormblood. So, we're gonna hop right into it, stop talking, rambling. We have two new spoilers, seven new horse colors, and jumping something, can't really tell, and then the new Belgian Wormblood, dude. These are all spoilers, um, not the finished product. Do I get overly excited or way too mad? You know the drill. So here we go, the Belgian Wormblood. Now before we even take a look at it, I have something to say. Why is Star Stable releasing new horse breeds when we have three, we have three Wormbloods in the game? They all look like absolute ass. Why do we need another one? Like a, a whole different breed. We have the Danish Wormbloods. We have the... What else do we have? Oldenburgs? Pretty sure we have Oldenburgs. And then we have... What do we have? We have the Oldenburgs. We have the Cell Francais, which I'm pretty sure is a Wormblood. It is a Wormblood. We have the Oldenburgs, which are, again... How do I check the breed out? Are the Oldenburgs Wormbloods? It's a Wormblood. It's a Wormblood. So my point is, we have so many Wormbloods in the game that could look better, right? And Star Stable is deciding to bring new horses out, new horse breeds. I just cannot figure out what their thought process is behind all of this. It just doesn't make any sense. I really want the Oldenburgs to be updated and all the other Wormbloods. I've been waiting for that. And then we get a Belgian Wormblood. What on earth is going on? Anyway, let's just look at it. Honestly, from what I'm seeing, I don't like it. It just doesn't do the Wormbloods justice. I absolutely love these horses in real life. The script and animations are not in the files yet. These are just blender renders of the model with all of the textures. All right, so it looks weird. It looks like the Pasofino bit and also the Thoroughbred. Yeah, just I don't understand why they're making new horses. Okay, the braids look amazing and no wonder it's a warm blood. Braids look amazing warm bloods. Just absolutely stunning. Okay, we have I don't think we have any new... Oh, that's a nice marking. That's a really beautiful marking there on the forehead, on the face. I don't think we have any new special um, main style, which is fine. So wait, this is color 1, right? This is color 1, and this is color 2. Okay, got it. And then we have the color 3. That's a very bright horse. Very bright color. Really don't like it. Looks very sausagey. Maybe it's chestnut, but bro, it's too much. And then we have this one, which... Ah, uh, it's a type of gray, I believe, or sooty bay? I don't know. Or seal bay, maybe? I can't tell what code this is. And then we have this... Oh, this is nice. This is nice. I cannot lie. This is beautiful. But again, we did not need another Wormblood in the game. No, we do not. We just need the old ones to be updated. And then we have the color 6, which is a gray. Um, pretty boring, in my opinion. And I want to like grays, but this one is just very plain. Alright, moving on, we have this one. Um, I'm really not a fan of this color. Really not a fan of this color. Nope. Okay, the next one is, this is most likely just a placeholder and will be a completely different color or it will be removed. That's really unfortunate because this one is actually my favorite one. Um, so this one is a light gray, beautiful. But sadly, it might not make it to the game. The Helen Horace knee main got its special main, but the script still isn't in the files, so I'm also just showing you a blender render. All right, I'm not really able to give an opinion because it looks like someone, you know, shoved the stick up its butt and now it's very constipated, so can't really give my opinion on that, I guess. It's very spiky hair. Alright, so the Belgian Wormbloods, I cannot say much about them, we don't have the animation. Some of the ghosts are nice. You know, I don't hate the horse, I just wish Star Stable would stop bringing out more breeds and just update the older ones, because bro, the Oldenburgs, the Cell Francais and then the other one, what, the Oldenburg? Did I say Oldenburg already? Probably did. 
They're such nice horse breeds in real life. Please just update them and stop bringing out new stuff, you know what I mean? It just doesn't make any sense. And then we have the 7 new horse colors and jumping saddle pads. Alright, so this update is coming out on September 28th. Okay, the Shire. Uh, bro. Looks like Chewbacca or something. I don't know. Not a fan. No. No. I don't like it. Nothing about it appeals to me. Absolutely nothing. It's so boring. It looks like a lion to me or like just anything but a horse. You know what I mean? The American Quarter Horse. I really do like the Quarter Horses from the game. Pretty sure they also fixed animations of them. I'm not a fan of this coat and I can't really tell what coat it is. So then I'm not gonna say what coat it is, even though I feel like it's a done, but I might be wrong. Yeah, not a fan. Really not. It reminds me of Spirit a little bit, even though it's probably far from looking anything like that. Okay, the English store, but we got a Cremella one, Perlino, whatever. Um, I'm not one to like these horse coats at all on any breeds. In real life, they're pretty cool, but even if I were to like have a real life horse, I would never get a Perlino horse, never. I'd probably get a Dapple Grey because I'm boring like that and very basic. But yeah, they did a good job, just not my cup of tea. And then we have the Icelandic horse, which looks pretty cool. I like the coat. Um, I don't like the model though. I'm not a fan of the new Frisians. I mean, what is wrong with me? Not a fan of the new Icelandic horses, they just don't look the greatest in my opinion. Yeah, just not a fan of this artist from Star Stable that creates these horses. I really love Nomi's creations, but not the other one so much. I'm pretty sure that the one that created the Icelandics also created Frisian horses, and we all know how I feel about those. So yeah, this one is the Icelandic number, number 2, so we're getting two new Icelandic horses. It's a pretty plain and boring coat, in my opinion. Oh, we're getting an Apple, bro. This is nice. This is nice. Wow, Dennis finally said something positive in this video, right? Right. I mean, that is correct. I've just been trashing these horses. Well, not trashing. It's just my opinion. But yeah, I really like even the marking on this horse's muzzle on the snip. It's really nice. Yep, I might be getting this one. Actually, I'm pretty broke, so I might not get it. But it's it's a pretty cool one. It's a pretty cool one. I'm gonna save up for the Halloween. Um, paint horse. I really love that one. But this horse, bro, this Appaloosa, do be hitting the spot. Okay, this one is the Pasofino and reminds me of Zephyriah, which is the Briar Arabian Premier Club of 2022, the first release. Um, when the way they did the dapples on the top, just really weird. I don't like them. And they look very fish scaly too. Yeah, just not a fan. Really not, and I do love the Pasofino, it's just this coat, dude, the dappling on the, on the back, just so creepy. And I know it's realistic, I just don't like it, you know, it looks like a freaking lizard or something, I don't know. Like one of those dangerous little dragon lizards, you know what I mean? Um, so there are also new jumping saddle pads in the files, okay, let's see what we got. I feel like we already have the saddle pad, or something very similar to it. I like that it's not the white white, it's kind of like a grayish, dirty white. Um, don't we have this style pad already in the game, but just in different colors? They're very bright. Don't we have this already in the game, or something very similar to it? I think we do. Not a fan of these colors, to be honest. They're just very... They're a different style. Picks our stables just a mixture of all types of styles and graphics, and it's like, dude, just pick one. Pick one. You know what I mean? They look nice actually but it's just that it's H&M what the heck H&M are they being are they sponsoring H&M the only horses that I do like are I mean there's only one that I like which is the Appaloosa horse and the Belgian Wormbloods I don't know why Star Stable is doing it I don't know why they're doing what they're doing dude I don't understand why would you bring this horse out when you have so many other Wormbloods to update in the first place I like this coat um I like this one better though the second one I like the the face marking is absolutely amazing. I love the way they do the herring and stuff. That's a lot of detail there. I absolutely despise this coat. So weird. Um, this one is alright. This one is... Oh, this one is nice. This one is really good. And then there's this one, which is... It's fine, but it's just boring. And then this one is not a vibe. This one is really cool, but it's probably not going to be anything. So, I really want to have a conversation with you guys down below in the comments. So, 
Let me know what you think of this update that's coming out. What do you think of the fact that Star Stables bring out a new breed, a new Wormblood breed, instead of updating the older Wormblood breeds? Am I the only one that's like pretty confused as to why they're doing this? And let me know what your favorite coats are, your favorite variations that are coming out of the other horses. This is just my opinion. I know it's pretty harsh. Kind of didn't filter myself, but I also don't want to be fake. This world is so full of fake people, I'm tired of it, so... Um... Yeah, I just want to be transparent with you guys. I hope I wasn't disrespectful in the way that I expressed my opinions. Yeah, I will link these videos down below again. All the credits are going to CC Creations. This is not the final release. They can still change stuff, even though they don't usually change much, but, you know. If you want to see more horse content from me, then please subscribe, like this video, ring the bell, and I mean that. Ring that bell, dude. And I'll give you a hug if we ever meet in person in this world. I will give you a hug for that. Let's have a chat in the comments. Bye, everyone.